Hi and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to use the Power Query to combine three workbooks into one file and then use the append to combine all the queries and then directly load it into a pivot chart. Now my data here is the amount of rainfall on a specific date and time on a specific area. And then per area, I have one file. And then the first thing to do is to make a table out of this uh, workbook. And to do that, I'm going to use first the Power Query to edit it. And to do the Power Query uh, editing, let's go to the Data tab here and then choose From Table slash Range and then choose uh, the particular data that you have and then without the headers and then click OK. And that's it. Your Power Query, query Editor is now on your monitor. Now, the first thing to do is to uh, split this column and then separate the date and time and the rainfall. To do that, uh, select the column, choose Split Column by Delimiter, and then choose uh, the space as a delimiter because I see a space in between date and time here, and then split at each occurrence of the delimiter and then press OK. And this is now formatted as a date. Then I change the column name, name in the date, and that's it. Then uh, choose the second column to separate the time and the rainfall amount. And to do that, go again to the split column by the limiter. And then this time, use the semicolon because that is the separator there. And then split at its occurrence of the delimiter and press OK. And that's it. This is now formatted as time, and this is now formatted as decimal. And just change uh, the column name here as the rainfall. And that's it. And then I will change the table name into the specific uh, area so that I will not forget it later on. Then after that, you can choose close and load. Now, this is your table from the Power Query Editor, and then I'm gonna add a month here because I'm gonna use it in a chart later on. And to have a month here, I will list uh, the name of the month here in this format up to December, and I will use the index function on this. I'm writing the index, my array will be this area, lock it, uh, comma, and then I will use the month here, month formula, and uh, the serial number will be the particular uh, date here then uh, close parenthesis close and that's it I have the month here now I also put the location which is uh, uh, this name and uh, click it and then that's it I'm gonna cut this one put it in a separate sheet here and that's it I'm gonna save it into a workbook because uh, this is a CSV file and then the other two files from different areas I did the same uh, in Power Query Editor and then save it as a workbook and then the next procedure will be uh, to combine it using the append and uh, so I open a new file so that in this file I'm going to combine the three workbooks and to do that I'll be going to the data tab here and then get data from file from workbook and then choose the uh, first file. In here, uh, I'm choosing the Bulacan and then import. After that, uh, you will choose the specific table within that worksheet. Then I choose this uh, the table that table that I did, and then click the transform data. And then uh, the Power Query editor is now on your monitor again. Now, once the Power Query Editor is being loaded on your screen, because this is already edited uh, previously, you just go directly to the Close and Load, and then choose Close and Load to. Choose Only Create a Connection here. Just choose that and then press OK. Your query will now be displayed here, and then I will do the same process with uh, the other two files. 
once we uh, have the three files or, or, or all the files that you want uh, displayed here as a queries you can go again to the get data then combine queries and choose the append and then it will ask you if, if it is either two tables or three or more i'll choose three and then select and add all these three tables uh, and then press ok now on this part you're gonna choose close and load to and then choose directly the pivot chart on the list and click ok now we have the pivot chart here let me choose uh, the rainfall amount here as the values then the month as my axis and basically that's it uh, let me go back to this chart uh, erase this part and then make it as uh, make a, a title here rainfall amount in mm from uh, 2015 to 2018 and that's it and then let me use uh, go to analyze and use the slicer here for the location so I have three location here I can just click it uh, like that and that's it you have a chart now per area and uh, the good thing here is that you already know now that in this area in Bataan um, the rainfall amount is significant on the month of August while the others are not so significant especially the January to April so that's the interpretation on that then the same thing in Bulacan that's in August and October while in Pampanga that's in October as well so that's it uh, and this is just a simple example you can do better than this and that's it I'm finished here I'm done if you're liking my videos you can subscribe in my channel and see you next time and thanks